morning everyone. This is a quick review of my old rucksack. Had it for five years. I used it in Wales in 2012 so you can tell it's getting on but it's still in not on perfect condition. Nothing has broken on it. It's the Berghaus Centurio 45 with the added side pouches. Each side pouch is 10 litres, so a total of uh, 65 litres. I've got the side pouches because I don't like all of my stuff just put into one pouch because basically it's a bucket rucksack, just stuff everything in the top. And I'll show you some more on the pouches as I get to them. The straps are well padded, just above at the top and the bottom, so you can get it to fit you. It has a hanger, also has a name slot where you can put your card in it and your name. The sternum strap, keep him tight on your chest. The Berghaus buckle, which is a very simple buckle. There's nothing much to break on it. Just pushing through, and then you pull these to tighten them up on your stomach, and it doesn't slacken off. And when you want to drop your rucksack, you just push it through like that. It is very simple and foolproof. So you can drop your rucksack in a hurry. Right, that one is about the front. The back, as you can see, is, these are well padded, which gives you the airflow up your spine. Side pouches have these on the side, well on this one anyway. I'll show you in a bit. I've got straps on the top. As I say it's modernised for me. So as I can uh, put my bedroll in the top and then just tighten them up, keep him up there out of the way. You have the webbing on top as well and a really large pocket. And in the pocket you have another zip pocket so I should keep writing pad or anything like that separate from say some dirty stuff which or anything you need to get through get to quickly and use through the day keep them in there so you haven't got to open your rucksack up got your normal push clip to hold your hood on and these have really big adjustment straps so you can get some real stuff under here and then tighten it up as well keep extra gear in there if you need all webbing down the back here but I have straps one at the top and one at the bottom so as I can keep stuff vertically and one at either side, so if I want up and have it crossways. It does have these little clips here for walking poles on either side, which I've never used. And two hanger things at the bottom as well, which I've never used either. The bottom is a bit stuffed but that is the only damage to it where you'd normally expect. This is a really large and it's pretty much waterproof as well. I don't know if you can see the underneath of the top here. It's really well treated. As I say, I've never got stuff wet in it and I use it in my canoe all the time. 
these will work perfectly. Still no damage, even the amount of time it's been used. In the back here, you have your normal pouch, pouch which goes all the way to the bottom of your rucksack because you can also use it to hang your bladder. These clips fit most bladders. Not either side. H2O port to root your pipe out of either side. So if you like it on your left or your right, you're catered for. The side pouches, as I say, which are an extra, well they were when I brought it, as I say, all those years ago, just slip off. And that's where you can put your straps as well. So as if you don't want the pouch on, you can just put your tent, bedroll, tarp, whatever, and strap into the side. The pouches come as their own little rucksack as well, which is a brilliant idea. It does have all webbing attachment points, so as you can attach into other things as well. And have these so as you can clip the two pouches together when they're off but as I say I'll just use the one because I have all my cooking gear in here and my food so as when I'm out I can just drop my main rucksack providing it's safe obviously and uh, just use this one to go for a walk for dinner and leave all the rest of my gear heavy gear, one of my tent or bases. It's a brilliant little idea and uh, I don't know why other rucksacks don't have the same idea because it's uh, very good. The side pouches have a little clip as well as well as the zip. So if you do have long things in here sticking out your sides, you can still clip them up without using the zip. So you can still have longer things stick out the top, but most of your gear is still kept in safe. And as I say, these, I move these onto the actual pouch. So you can move these straps to here. They're pretty long, so, so you can get some pretty good gear on there, tents, anything, even bed rolls, even self-inflating bed roll would fit easily. It's a very versatile pouch, you can move these straps wherever you want them, on the top, sides, as I say, I have it set how I, I use it, and um, I've had no problems with this one whatsoever. All the zips still work perfectly. Nothing's broken in the five years. It's been used a fair bit, but not not overly. And I use it in the canoe, and still I haven't got anything wet inside it. As I say, it is well sealed. There's no drainage at the bottom, which is one of the reasons why I suppose nothing's got wet inside it in the canoe. But I would well recommend one of these to anybody. It's been a good servant to me and hopefully will be for quite three more years. So for walking and what have you, you can drop your pouches and just use it as your 45 litre rucksack. Add these to one, convert it to a 65 litre so that you can go away for a week. So all in all, it's a brilliant little rucksack. And 
everything that I need it's strengthened as well, which I should have said. It has a bar around the outside. All up either side and across the top. So it keeps it upright. There's nothing on the bottom or the what have you, but yeah, I'd well recommend one and hope you enjoyed the video and that I'll help to somebody who's actually thinking of what I would, as I say, I don't think many people will be disappointed. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please subscribe and press the like button. Thank you.